Just again, up and drop, up and drop. It's sort of a reset, a little mental reminder to yourself to keep your shoulders from rising up towards your ears. Good, up and down. And we should definitely be feeling a little noodle arms at this point. Gorgeous. At the end of this set, we're gonna come on down to the mat. And Stop on exercise backs. and switch Ooh, to the next space. Gorgeous. All right, so let's place our weights on either side of our mat for easy access, but we're gonna grab our pillow or squishy ball for the next move. Look at this, ladies. I don't have a ponytail. I can just lie down normally. In set one. <laughs> it's amazing. All right, so you're going to bring your feet a little closer together than you think and squeeze the ball. Then pinch your butt together and pick your hips up off the mat. Just hold this initial position. Belly button pulled into the spine. Weight is pressed into the heels. Good. And let's add a little pulse here. I'm bringing my arms up just so you can see how slow and small I'm going. Pinch that booty. Stop. And we still exercise. have our isometric squeeze against the ball, meaning that there's pressure. We've got resistance and the inner thighs are working, but we are also not moving. In set two. Until now. Set two, we're going to hold the hips up high and we're going to pulse against the ball. Pulse, pulse. Beautiful. Nice and slow. Again, we want to make sure we're not bouncing. Good. And if it's a pillow, you really do have to keep it nice and smooth because otherwise the pillow will fall away. Excellent. Squeeze. Good. If you feel like you lose your glute um, engagement, squeeze it again. Exercise. Three, two, one. Let's take a little break. Ah. Oh, mama. Good idea to pull those knees in. Rock your hips from right to left. Very good. Hmm. All right. Again, so set four. Three. Same pattern. So we start with an isometric squeeze, meaning that we just hold the squeeze. Then we squeeze our glutes, pick our hips up, make sure the glutes are pinching. And then especially every time we pulse upward, we re-pinch the glutes. Re-pinch every time. Now you wanna drive through the feet, maybe 70% is in the heel. The rest is distributed through the rest of the foot. A lot of times when I say drive through the heel, I see people pick their toes up. Now that's not necessarily Stop wrong, exercise. but I want you to have a full base of support. Good. Keep going if you can. If you need to take a break at this point, that's okay. Don't forget the squeeze of the ball. I just added an extra squeeze because I realized I was kind of just slacking on that a little bit. Good. Inch. Begin set four. Good. Here's set four. Hold your hips high. Squeeze the ball. Beautiful. So this is set four. At the end of set four, we're gonna go ahead and grab our weights and stay lying on our backs. I'm gonna go into a chest press with a tricep skull crusher. It's a combo move, I will show you, during the break. Good. Pinch that booty. I'm just reminding myself, squeeze your butt hard. Stop the exercise and switch to the next station. Hey, sore. All right, ball is gonna go to the side. Keep it close. Go and grab your weights. So here's the move. Three chest presses. One, two, three. Just imagine I did three. Then you're going to switch your grip. And begin three set one. Tricep skull pressures. Okay, so just set one is just begun. So let's begin with our chest presses. One and two and three. Switch your grip into triceps. Good. Two and three. Good. If you're a little confused about the coordination, just keep your eye on me. Excellent. Now a chest press, of course, can be narrow or wide. In fact, if you do a narrow chest press, the transition Stop into the exercise. triceps is even easier. I'll show you right now. So that's the third tricep. 
and then we go down into the chest press narrow. The palms remain facing each other, the elbows stay close to the waist, and that way, when you straighten out your arms, it gives you know, right into that tricep skull crusher. Now you'll notice that I did not take a break. If you did take a break, that is just fine. Go ahead and start wherever you like. Good. Now, if your shoulder, for whatever reason, prefers a wide chest press, then it's just a matter of switching which way your palms are facing. Good. So this is my tricep right here. And then I extend and switch. Excellent. Stop exercise. Good. Take a quick break here. For set three, we're going to only do chest presses. For set four, we're going to only do tricep skull crushers. So keep an eye on me if that's confusing. <laughs> Begin set Good. three. Now, we don't have to focus on switching between one or the other. So you can really focus on your form here. Weights centered above the sternum, not the nose or the belly button, sternum. That way when you come to 90 degrees, your shoulders get to stay down away from the ears. It's very important. Good. Now you can absolutely do, continue to do your narrow chest presses here. That is just fine. For those of you doing a narrow chest press, you may notice that your triceps Stop are a little bit more fall. Let's do three, two, and one more. Good, now we can take a quick break. Set four, we're going to only do uh, triceps skull crushers. Ah. Begin Beautiful. set four. All right, arms all the way up, 90 degrees. We're going a little bit slower here. If you want to pick up the pace a little bit, that's okay, but the tricep is a smaller muscle than the chest. It doesn't need as much of the challenge, doesn't need as much of the drive. Plus my elbows get a little wonky on this sometimes, so for me it's just better to go slow. But if you feel like this weight isn't enough for you, if you want a little bit more of a challenge, if you're just stopping exercise and so to easy. the next station. Beautiful. One more just for a bonus. Go ahead and drop those elbows to the floor. Waist to the floor and abs. Let's start with a dead bug. So fingertips are gonna be up to the sky. Knees are gonna be at 90 degrees. Opposite Begin arms one. are going to extend and then come all the way in. So if your left arm is moving, your right leg is moving. Extend and then in. Good, now if you have a particularly sensitive lower back today, here are two modifications. Number one, just don't go as far. Keep it smaller. It's going to keep your knees toward the center of gravity here. It's going to make it a little easier for you to keep your back down on the mat. The other modification, you can absolutely do this with your feet moving from the floor. Here's the big difference though. Stop exercise. If you're doing this modification, please make sure that you aren't driving that foot, the supporting foot, into the floor. You want to keep that foot nice and light. That's going to keep the work in your abs and not in that hamstring. Good. So I'm gonna go back to your regular dead bug here. A couple things I really want you to focus on here during set two. Your hip bones and your rib bones are being laced together and the belly button goes into the spine. The challenge is to keep that position while your limbs are moving. As your limbs move away from your center of gravity, they're going to want to Arch the lower back by tilting your pelvis and popping your rib cage up. It is your abs that are keeping your back flat. Stop exercise. Your rib, cage tuck, your rib cage tucked in. Pardon me. Let's go ahead and take a little break. Knees in, small hug and rock. Excellent. Now, you are more than welcome to stick with the set three if you would like a harder version. Both arms overhead as the one leg extends. Okay, that's progression one. Progression two, limited range of motion. All four limbs move away. Small, notice how small this is. 
because both legs are moving, that pelvis is going to want to tilt. You have to keep that back down. Now, if you're feeling extra special, extra spunky day, your back feels good, you feel Stop strong. Exercise. Progression three, full extension all the way, okay? This is challenging. If you need to, sort of alternate this with a small one. So you go one small. Begin set four. One big. I recommend doing that first, making sure that that's okay. So here's all of your options for set four. Extension and back with the feet on the floor. Extension of opposing limbs. Extension of opposing leg with the same hands or extension of all four limbs, small or big. Good. We have Stop one more set out of this. Switch to the next station. Gorgeous. All right, ladies. Let's turn over for our planks. Yes, I know. I never make you do planks last, but new hair, new me. It's also possible. Begin that. set one. That's just how it lined up today. Okay. So regular plank for set one. Here's the thing. Your abs are already tired, but I still want you to lace your hips up to your ribs. Pull your belly button in and hold. Drop your hips. My hips are a little too high, so I'm dropping them here. And drive your elbows into the mat. Tuck your tailbone underneath you and squeeze your glutes. Stop exercise. Drop your knees first, please. And then you're going to send your hips back into child's pose. Now it's very important to me that you drop your knees, not your hips. What I really don't want to see is this, okay? It's a big hyperextension of that Begin lower back. set two. All right, go ahead and begin your plank for set two. Here's a modification. Knee plank. If the full plank is a little much for your lower back, especially after that ab work, go ahead and drop your knees and keep that tailbone tucked and keep your hips right in line. It's really important here that we don't pike our booty up. We want to make sure it stays down because once the hips pike up, we lose the work in the abs. Very good. Beautiful Stop. knees. Exercise. All right, knees down if they aren't already. Walk those hips back. Give me a child's pose. Beautiful. All right, two more. Last planks you have to do today. Begin set three. All right, now for those of you who are like me, you have a small attention span. You know, holding a regular plank is just so boring. You're going to tap one foot out to the side and bring it back to center. Tap and center. Now, as you do this, it's going to be really tempting to either dip your hips or to pike your hips up. Important that you keep your hips in line even as you're moving. So it helps to move some exercise. Good. There's your break. Go ahead and drop your knees, hips back, and take that break. Ah. Gorgeous. All right, set four, your choice. Knee plank, stable plank, or toe tap plank. I'm gonna do toe Begin tap plank. Begin set four. Here we go. Gorgeous. Tuck those toes, drop those hips, tuck that tailbone, flat lower back. Tap, tap, good. Tap and tap, very nice, or just keep those legs straight, keep those heels driven, keep that toe tucked and squeeze that butt. Or drop those knees, hips in line, your hip bones are driving up toward your rib cage. Belly button is in. Stop exercise. Woo! Your training is your now training complete. Your training is now complete, ladies. Sink your hips back into one last child's pose for me. Good, and then you're gonna take a deep breath in up onto your hands and knees and give you two rounds of cat and cow. Inhale as you arch your back and exhale, whoo, round it. That arching of the back should 
give you just the slightest little stretch in your ab muscles. Should feel nice. Arch your back. And then round. Beautiful. Bring your back to a neutral tabletop stance. Walk your hands to your knees. That's it. And come say hi to me. What is up, ladies? Hello. Hello. How's it going? George Good, good, good. And you look sweaty. Are you sweaty? Yes. <laughs> you look good with the shaved head, Nicole. Thank you, Sandy. Yeah, you look good. Not everyone has such a nice look. looking head. <laughs> nice, and nice and clean cut. You do look good. Different, but good. <laughs> I'm actually, I'm very much looking forward to all the different little pixies I can grow it out into. Yeah. I'm thinking Are you gonna dye it? I, I was thinking about it because, you know, I had such, I wanted to dye my hair during pandemic, but I had such long hair and so much of it that it was like kind of intimidating. So now you can do pink and green and blue.